Thank you for checking out another video here on Debaco University. This video we're going to look at measuring bones to estimate height, which can be applicable for a skeleton that's found, or you can also uh, try this yourself to see how well the math or measurements come out. So here we're looking at a single bone uh, to individual height. So by measuring a single bone, the estimated height of the individual can be calculated. It's important to be able to properly identify the bone to know the formula, in the, or I should say the correct formula to use, because you can't just pick any bone. There are certain key ones that a formula has been developed, so you can get a closer estimation of the height of the individual. So you want to select a long bone to measure. And I have a couple listed here, if you remember from long bones, the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the femur, uh, the tibia, or the fibula would be bones uh, typically that are used in this measurement process. Now looking at uh, race and sex, or the gender of the individual, knowing the race and sex of the individual of the bone will help increase the accuracy of the calculation because there's different formulas to apply. At a crime scene with an unknown individual, it's important to know that some of the identifying characteristics to aid in the classification. The trained eye can spot some of these details, and other slideshows will go into detail on this to try to be able to determine an unknown individual to try to classify them as to allow for a greater um, formula to be applied with greater accuracy. So as I said, you can measure yourself. You can try this out for yourself here. You want to stick one of the long bones that you mentioned. You want to measure the bone length in centimeters. And then you want to use the following reference table on the following slide. So once you choose one of those bones, you take a measurement. Here is kind of an initial kind of reference table to be able to use. And how are you going to use this? Well, you want to identify the bone you measured, the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the femur, the tibia, or the fibula. Uh, when identify one of those bones measured, you use the measured length in centimeters. If the race or gender is known, if you're looking at a, uh, skeletal remains and the gender uh, are known, the most accurate estimation can be calculated. So here you can just see some of the equations, whether it's um, Caucasian, African American, Asian, or unknown, and whether it's male or female, there are different um, equations uh, to apply there. And this will help provide you with an estimation of the height of that individual based on only using one bone. Now you can calculate and measure your height. Once you calculate your height and compare it to the actual height, you can see how close it comes. Remember, this is only an estimate. Some bones might give you a closer uh, or more accurate um, answer, but they are all just to give an estimate, to give you a range or an expected approximate height of the individual. You want questions to consider. How does your calculated height compare to your actual height? Um, and how may this be applied to a uh, unknown skeletal remains? So you may want to use different bones and find out which one provides you the more and less accurate results. You know, some bones provide a closer to the actual, uh, but they're all just an estimation. So which bone for you provided the most accurate results?